Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Valens Vickers Valletta T3. Now this particular kit is available in a couple of different boxes, a couple of different artworks, things like that. But we thought we'd have a look at this one because I do love it with the day glow, with the training, with the observation uh, areas on the top. So it's 170 second scale. Uh, if you don't know about Valen, they're not the uh, best known company out there. They make some really nice interesting kits. Okay, can be a little bit what I call the short run type of kit So maybe lacking in certain areas, but actually overall for shape and quality and stuff like that They are absolutely fantastic. So you see beautiful bit of box art on the front We were talking about just on there quick run round on the kit not much to talk about down in here Your kit number for this one is 72143 Okay, got some more on there. And as I said, this is the T3 version, but there is a couple of versions of this around. Okay, so straight off the bat, we are greeted by a funky coloured styrene plastic. So we've got one bag with everything just down in there like that. Okay, and we've got our instruction sheet, which obviously we'll look at first. A little bit of bump uh, about it. Good old Vickers Armstrong. Okay, so down in here, we've actually got the call outs for it. So you've got your color call outs down in here and your markings, things like that, as you can see on there. So there's a couple of different versions on this one, but this is the more the trainer version. So, so it's got the observation areas on there, just like that. Got all your color call outs on the back as well. So that's nice and straightforward. Okay, no problem there. Then the main instructions, they are all a little bit backwards, if you like. So you've got your parts call outs, just down in there okay and on this side all right so it has got flat spotted tires as well so it's what it's basically getting on about there for painting your hubs starting off down in the engine so you have got some nice engine detail going down in there and then we flip around to this way so again considering it's 70 second scale beautiful work down in here so we've got a little bit of photo etch going on in this one going through so you've got all the uh, levers being fitted down in there. Again, I don't know exactly how much you'll see, but there we go, it's a personal choice if you're gonna do it or not. And some of the equipment down in there. So again, lots of detail going on. Okay, into that cockpit, popping all those areas together, as you might imagine. Tail wheel, okay, fitting the actual, because it's a tail dragger, down into there as well, so getting that one installed. And then obviously props and spinners uh, and intake coolers, things like that, being fitted down in there. Then on the other side, putting in the actual gear, the doors, the various things being fitted down into there. And also we've got a little or light underneath making sure you remember to pop that one in now same for the other side you might expect gear uh, straightforward being fitted down into there sort of standard gear way of doing it and then the actual gear doors being fitted on there like that and then back to the other side so you've got obviously windows being fitted from the inside it looks like It'd be interesting if they could go in from the outside all right and then obviously cockpit going in there your glass work and everything so it's what we mean by sort of short run kits it sort of pops them down in there it is talking about diameters at the top so i'm hoping although I'm not confident, but I'm hoping it has got those molded in. If not, you've actually got them. So it's, uh, it's 3.65 uh, by 7.3 onto there as well. So hopefully uh, they are gonna be in there. But it is mentioning about drilling six out the top, which is a little bit uh, worrying. But anyway, we'll see about that one. Okay, so once you've got your fuselage halves together, straightforward job popping the wings in. So the wings are just going to go in there like that. You have got a nice sprue bar as well going across. So hopefully that'll take care of some angles for you. All the lumps and bumps being fitted on there as you might imagine. And then down on here, it has... Do you know what it's going to be it so you are going to have to drill out which is a little bit of a shame but you know again taking your time and accuracy i don't think it'd be 100 percent important as long as you're down through the center i think personally it'd be easier to glue it all together and then come along here and i'm assuming we're talking 51 mil 73 mil right the way down maybe these are centers for this one uh, being fitted down into there for putting in those observation deck areas down in there again We'll see a little bit more in a moment. But anyway, there we go That's that one all in there. We've got some aerials going underneath as well So making sure you pop those in little ones at the front pitot tubes things like that being fitted on there some aerials and your antenna wire Doesn't look too bad now. We said about this before Valum tend to be what I call limited short run kit manufacturer. Usually very good detail and all the rest of it. And you can see just looking at the bag, looks actually very, very nice indeed. Not over keen on the color of the styrene. That's not nice, but hey, it's back to 1980s with uh, Matchbox in this color. Okay, so 
as you can see, we're all in one bag where we've got multiple bits. We won't bother getting any of these out, but as you can see down in here, we've got your photo etch. So as I said before, we've got things like trim wheels down in there. We've got the harnesses, all the little details, as you might imagine, down into there. You've got your instrument panel is actually on the decal sheet, as you can see, and all the others. He's actually looking very nice markings indeed so that's no problem with that okay for a change we'll start over here so these are the observation windows and to be honest with you it does look like that they are resin which again isn't a problem if it's done right and actually those don't look too bad at all so what we're going to be sort of looking at here is how they actually go because they're not round it doesn't look like Maybe you could get away with it, but there is a lip on these, as you can see, going along. So they are a plug-in fit into it, but most of us probably aren't going to have whatever size drill bit it was to be precise to it. So I think it's going to be a case of roughly get it in the area and go for it. But as you can see, considering they are resin, that's actually very nice clear cast. So, you know, in one hand, you're thinking, ugh, in other hand, actually, that's very, very nice indeed. All right, so working with resin is actually sometimes easier working with this stuff being clear parts okay so down in here in the clear parts we've got your windscreen which actually as you can see doesn't look too bad this bit in the middle we're not worried about because it's solid anyway but the rest of it windows as you can probably tell are crystal clear because they're flat so that's quite nice and looking at them they are going to have to go in from the inside which is a bit of a pain uh yeah that's not going to be an easy one to do, but there we go. I think they're going to be a little bit too big to try and PVA glue it. Side windows, things like that, again, gorgeously crystal clear. No problem with that at all. Uh, a little bit delicate, obviously, with these ones because they're slightly bulged, but the rest of them, very, very nice. So clear parts, generally, I have to say, great job. Okay, so down into the plastic. Let's start with the fuselage. As you can see, it's like a flat finish on these. When we're talking about uh, limited run, as you can see down in here, there is no locating tabs uh, anywhere at all. So when you're looking around the edge here, there isn't anything, all right? But that's not to, uh, so much a problem, uh, okay? You wanna take your time cleaning up these parts, making sure they're in and you'll have no problem at all. But generally, as you can see, that doesn't look too bad at all, okay? It's got nice details on this one. And if we just move around to the close up as you can see that actually is pretty nice there's a little lip on this as well which is quite nice because you got the wing spar comes through and then there is a little lip and you can see it's a little bit rough it could do with a little bit of a polish don't get me wrong but as I said before think limited run but the very nice side of limited run okay so that's actually looking pretty good right the way around nice to see we've got weight on wheels so they are bolched and flat spotted so that's quite nice the engines admittedly are a little bit crudely done but this is this little limited area we're in now okay so you know something can be done with that cockpit floor seats all of those but you've got stuff to detail this up so that's really not so much of a problem on the inside as you can see for the other versions you can open up windows and stuff like that but generally all over i think we're pretty good with that one so nothing really to worry about there onto the wings one so this is the underside as you can see some nice parts in there pretty good clean there's a little bit of flash here and there around on this one but nothing really you would you know go mental about starting over here at the top you can see and again there's a little bit of texture in the plastic but you are looking at this under a micro uh, camera so you're always going to pick up a little bit more than probably what your naked eye would okay there is this little guy here which i thought was an ejector pin but there's nothing on the other side so it's obviously supposed to be there Okay, it's this little mark just here. Again, I can't see that just looking at it, but through the camera, you can. Okay, so actually not too bad at all. Looking at the props, a little bit of flash on there, just needs a little bit of swipe around with the clean up, things like that. And there we go. Gear, again, a little bit of burring on those just to clean up some of those parts, but generally very nice. There's the other wing, looking good. And inside of the wing, obviously, there's nothing to see. There's no locating area. And the tabs, this one you might just want to sand down just a little bit, just to make sure you've got the clearance. But generally, no problem at all with that. On the top side, as you can see, pretty much as we've just seen on the other one. And again, tops of the wings, a little bit of creative. But I think really a quick whip round with a sander during you know, the actual build part of it, you'd be absolutely fine. Lumps, bumps, engine, the cells, uh, this is that sprue that's going to come across, actually be the sort of main beam of the wing spar. Okay, tail planes, moulded in one. Again, a little bit of flash just on these edges, but by the time you glue it together and stick them on, you should be absolutely fine. No problem at all. 
Again, really very nice on the inside. Again, nothing massively to write home about because it's all there. Some of it's been cleaned up actually, but generally very, very nice. This is typical of Valum. Like I said before, when you immediately say limited run or a short run kit, things like that, you immediately think flash, dodgy joins, sink marks and stuff. It's very hard to pigeonhole Valum in that because Valum is just on that teetering between normal kit and what I call short run. The only reason I really call it short run is you get a little bit of flash on things, can be a little bit basic in some areas, normally on internal details, things like that. They only really mold on one side uh, and obviously, you know, you just got no locating marks and things like that to aid your building. That said, I don't think anything is taken away from the kit. It still looks to be a fantastic kit. Built a few of those before. They always go together very, very well. There's no nasty surprises or anything out with sort of that with Valum and like I always say with all of their kits they're a beautiful start point so if you wanted to you could add as much detail as you wanted to this one because it gives you a great jumping point to start off with you've got everything you need and then after that you can add as much detail as you like to it so there we go that's the Vickers Valet, uh, Valetta T3 version as I said there's a couple other versions of this one out there as well which don't have the actual uh, observation areas normal transport one things like that as well so have a look out for those obviously it is available as always at the PM store so I would have to say it's an absolute must.